Lost her mother in a helicopter crash? Your daughter's acting a little <laughs> bit strange almost. Can I get you another coffee, Dallas? Trying to make me shit myself? Crypt for 47. Wow! Excellent word. What the fuck is wrong with her? It's called denial, Fran. It's the first stage of grief. Ugh. Paul Coffee. I got serious hockey troubles. Whatever you got, you got a daughter you still haven't told your father yet. I know. She's staying or what? No, we got no cake. I don't know, okay? What kind of hockey trouble? Texas's secret plan about moving the Oilers to the States? Yes. Paul Coffey's blaming me for it. <laughs> you vouched for Texas kick. Yes, John. I vouched for Texas. And then Paul vouched for me, and Texas shit the bed by double crossing the Oilers. Whatever happened to that 750 grand she gave you? Mm, check balance almost. <sighs> oh my God. Leave me alone, Paul. I saw that. Shit. Deep shit, buddy boy. You reach Cakes Renegoli. You need a goaltender. Leave your details. And for 50 bucks, you'll have one there 30 minutes before the puck drops. If you're from my past, go away. I've reformed. The hard living and the breezy, lucrative jobs have been replaced by a code for living right. Damn fine espresso and my very first family. So you need a goalie, leave a message. You want revenge or money? Go for calf. I'm scared, Kick. And you're not taking me down with you. Look, Paul, I swear to hockey gods, I only found out about Texas's plan to move the Oilers to Lubbock after the chopper accident. Accident? Are you listening to me? Yes, okay, I'm listening. So, a Canadian hockey club is exposed, the sharks are circling, and what? And what? One place you do not want to go is upstairs. Why? What's upstairs? A secret cabal sworn to protect Canadian hockey? According to Paul, yeah. Upstairs was formed in 96, right after the Quebec Nordiques were moved to Colorado. They're the ones who cracked down on obstruction. They've allowed the shootout to happen. Basically, I think uh, the gist is you mess with hockey, you mess with upstairs. So you think upstairs killed Texas? All I know is Paul was scared. Well, what are you going to do, Cake? What can I do, Shorts? I'm basically just a rink rat. They come after me, though, and I will give them a piece of my mind about the shootout. I hate that thing. What's that? Just a hockey superhero. It's nice. Superheroes need sidekicks, though. Oh, I know, Cake. Um, when you tell Dallas about the secret hockey cabal that killed her mother, you can tell her you're her father. Wait, Cake. Wait, Cake. Wait, boys. We're assuming the kid is staying. Well, that's not your assumption to make. We happen to think she's ripe for a nickname, almost. A what? Your nickname. Looch? Baby cakes. <laughs> Baby cakes, almost. Offside, boys. That is so not my nickname. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's stupid. What does that even mean? Look, I, I know it's a lot to fathom. That you're my biological father. Not really. Mom always made bio dad sound so heroic. <laughs> Handsome. Really? Dashing all over the world. I knew it had to be bullshit. Charming. More to the point, anyone who calls me baby cakes is gonna get a punch in the mouth. How's about instead I tell you how it works around here? Give me a second. Hey, Jimmy, what's up? Yeah, I can skate. Can I play? 4 p.m. Ice sports. See you in an hour. Why can't I play? Because that's not how it works around here. Hey, hey. We've come to pay our respects. Okay. Poor Texas. She meant the world to you. No, she sleeps with worms. Do you like the delphiniums? Yes, Des. Very nice gesture. Malta, get away from the door. That girl in there. She's your seed. Mm. How do you know that? What? Desmond. He has a daughter. <laughs> With who? Texas. Texas was the mother of your child. I just found out. 
What the fuck have I done? Oh, cake. She's lost her mum. Can I help you raise her? No, you can't. Just, just tonight. I hear you got a problem with your nickname. I don't have a nickname, shit pants. Oh, yeah, you do. It's code, baby cakes. Why the fuck did you do that? It wasn't even him who said it. I know. I punched him in the mouth, so he'll talk to him, and neither of them will call me fucking baby cakes ever again. <laughs> I'll get you something. Just calm down. Unacceptable cake. Agreed. The girl needs a heart to heart almost. Cake. I said agreed, and I will deal with it as soon as I'm finished dealing with the Oilers fiasco. More bad news with the Oilers fiasco. Sports Zone has learned that another hostile bid is being mounted by a powerful American consortium in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I am through feeling sorry for that state. Kicks by the goalie. Yeah, Paul. How did upstairs try to kill you? Well, people drop anvils all the time. <laughs> upstairs tried to wily coyote Paul Coffee. I gotta clear my head. I'm going to Jimmy's skate. Lock it up, boys. Paul? You really got your bell rung out there. Daryl, what's up, buddy? Upstairs is up. Now you listening? Who are these guys? Don't know or can't say. Oh, come on, man. I need some information. I got nothing to go on. Well, go on this. Canada loses another team. At best, you're never going to rent another goalie. And at worst, what? A helicopter crash? Or do anvils start dropping out of the sky? People drop anvils all the time. That's what I told Paul. Go see a doctor, get your head checked, and then put it to good use, will you? Bottom line, I'm left holding the bag, so I gotta figure out a way to buy the Edmonton Oilers. Okay, so, like, how much are they worth? Mm, about $190 million. Oh. No one with that kind of money cake? No one I'm willing to call. Do you know Richard Branson? No. Do you know Warren Buffett? No. Uh, do you know, um, who's that super fucking rich dude? You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lance, I do know Bill Gates, but uh, he doesn't like me. How many fingers? It's a hand. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. A drew sidekick kick, Sammy Slapshot. Awesome. Look at the little dude. <laughs> Keep it for luck. Okay, Cake, what you need is like a Canadian Bill Gates, somebody who loves hockey with deep pockets, who has ownership experience. Exactly. I need a Phil Esposito. How about Phil Esposito? I can catch his skate. Cake, can I play with Espo? No, you're grounded for punching shit pants in the mouth. Grounded? Grounded. My daughter wants to play hockey with you. By the way, that's an interesting offer about the Oilers. I, I am. I'm kind of interested yes. in it. Whoa, whoa. Yes! She's quick and she hits. That's my uh, kid. Uh, she's good, man. I like her. What 
was that? I stand on it, Phil. Stand on it. That's suicide, man. You didn't have to hop over it. What the fuck you want me to do? Let it hit me or get killed? Jesus Christ. Sucker pass. Don't be fucking around. Even with the suicide pass, Cake, I'll fly to Edmonton tomorrow and take care of everything for you, OK? Awesome, man. But for the last time, all right? It was not a suicide pass. I fanned on it. The pass was shit, Cake. Why don't we just drop this, OK? Jeez. Whoa. No need to be a dick. Hey, it's OK. It's just me and Phil. Yeah, relax there, baby cakes. No! <laughs> she punched Phil Esposito. In the mouth, almost. Punching two people in the same day is not a stage of grief cake. It's being a bitch. She won't accept her nickname. Look, guys, I'm back to square one trying to save Canadian hockey, so I'm a little busy to parent right now. Going to bathe. Well, it looks like Daddy's a little lacking in the tough love department. Yeah, well, maybe it's time somebody showed the bitch who the real bitch is around here. OK. That's what the... Oh, goody. Oh, wetty goodness. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, I've got a terrible thing. <laughs> what? To, Martin, no, you're not getting in the top. No! No! Oh, yeah, I Leave your bag in the alley. Why? Stinky frickin' equipment in the frickin' alley, almost. Let me tell you how it works around here. Baby cakes. So, say it again, Des. You killed Texas? I had no idea Liam would take me seriously when I wished her chopper to blow up. You told the IRA you wanted her dead? In passing, I was upset, Cake. You took that position in Edmonton and you wouldn't buy me the flames. You know, I could take Dallas every other weekend. No, you couldn't. Mm. Shrimp boat? No, thank you. Ah, don't! What? Oh, perfect. This is moderately weird. Gorgeous, we were just talking about you. We were not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your ma. Get off me. Can you, can you tell me what the fuck happened? Fran has a longer reach than me. Oh, I've got a long reach, too. <laughs> uh, this is my daughter, if you don't mind. Remind me never to bathe in that. So dirty. Disgusting. You're so dirty. Oh, oh, Desmond. Dirty boy. Dirty boy. Ah. Nice jab, Franny. Textbook almost. Ah, uh, uh, one punch, girlfriend. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> One punch girlfriend, one. Come on, Pa. I mean, Dallas is like. Family. One punch girlfriend is enough. Punching Fran in the mouth? Not how it works around here. Okay, it's pretty obvious that you're in love with her. You're young. And you think you know. And probably some things you do know. Problem is, you don't care. Not about how it works around here, not about your mother, who, incidentally, as greasy and underhanded and Texan as she may be, I used to love. And I cannot mourn her until you do. Howdy, Cake. She's behind me, isn't she? Now, don't get all riled up. I called her and told her I wasn't dead. Well, do you think maybe you could have called me? Wow, nice hair. Cake, there are wanted posters for me up all over Alberta. That is because you were going to move the Edmonton Oilers to Lubbock, Texas. It's business. It is hockey, and it is on me. And what is up with your parenting skills? Because our daughter is a nightmare. Wouldn't it be hilarious <sighs> if I was sitting right here? You know, I missed that helicopter by five minutes. Upstairs tried to kill me. It wasn't upstairs. It was the IRA. Don't you give me that Irish valley who? My life is on the line. Fine, you're right. You gotta disappear. So, Dallas, your mother is going on the lamb. What do you want to do? No one's ever asked me that before. Well, go get your lip stitched. Think about it for a minute, all right? I gotta talk to your mom. Go on, darling. Yeah. 
Got that 750 grand I gave you under the bed. <laughs> Don't, all right? God, you know, large sums of money give me nothing but headaches. So then, cut me out a couple of hundred G. There's 40 bucks for a cab. If she decides to stay, I got a feeling on Donna's gonna be very expensive. Who is it? I'm here, so here's the thing, guys. As honored as I am to be upstairs, I'm not really buying this whole Wizard of Oz bit. I know you didn't kill Texas, so uh, how about we just, you know, with the blindfold and... And the lights. Well, we did lay that hit on you. Sure, yeah, and it hurt, um, so here I am. All right, kill the lights. Haley Wickenheiser, that's pretty cool. Welcome upstairs, Cake. Thank you. So you guys are responsible for protecting Canadian hockey. It's awesome. How's it going? Not good, Cake. We're in a world of shit. Listen, we need to save the Oilers. But we can't go public to do it. Yeah, I get that. And shadowy cabals are pretty effective. Listen, for the record, I just want to say I love what you guys are doing for the game. Except for maybe the shootout. Yeah, yeah, we're revisiting that. Oh, fuck. Do you want me to hold your hand, Dallas? Work in here, Bill. OK. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh. All right, Billy and that super fine behind, they are off limits. Oh, yes. Are you fucking kidding me? Everyone wants to tell me how it works around here, but then nobody tells me how it works around here. Well, oh. then that's the way that it works around here. You have to earn it, Dallas. The code. Effort and exchange. What? Shut, 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 shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. And you watch your father. Capuch for Haley. And votre café, monsieur Gaillette. Et un biscuit. Non, non, mais fais pas ton smart avec moi, Esti. Biscotti's nice, but it ain't gonna buy the Oilers. Would it maybe buy me a seat upstairs? Depends what one brings to the table. Well, if you mean $190 million, I'm sorry, I don't have it. What do you have, dear? I got nothing. I got this. What's that, then? It's a piece of paper. It means I got nothing. It's something. What's on it? It's a superhero and his sidekick. My buddy drew it. Give it here. It's great. We love it. Let's do it. So crazy, it just might work kind of thing. You're going to go on TV dressed like that? Yes, I am, Buker. Why? Because I am Captain. Hooky? <gasps> what? Oh, shit. <clears throat> uh, Cake, so you really think Every single person in Canada is going to pledge $5.43 almost. Toward keeping the Oilers in Edmonton? Towards keeping hockey in Canada. When people see me try, they're going to try to. You need more ass padding. Just saying, if you want to be a superhero, you got to have a super buff ass. And it just kind of looks weird. Thank you, Boyle. All right, so who wants to be Sammy Slapshot, my sidekick? <laughs> Come on, you don't want to save hockey? Not dressed like that. I'll be fucking Sammy. One condition, though. No nickname. 
No. What? No. No, no. No, no, no. Come on, guys. You don't want to be Sammy, then. Frick that cake. We veto this action. You don't have a veto. What the frick? Oh, hey, John. Hey, John. We we do. We have a nickname, Veto. I veto you, Veto. If she's the sidekick, she don't have to wear a nickname. So that's how it works around here. And so it goes. All right, darling. Upstairs. Suit up. Family. Family. How do you wear a nickname? You are correct, Simon. With my trusty sidekick, Sammy Slapshot, here, I am taking the Save the Oilers campaign directly to the people. What the fuck are you doing? You can't swear on TV. You can't hit me. Sorry. It's that irresistible urge that people have to beat up mascots. I'm not a mascot. I'm a superhero. I, Captain Hoot, will take one punch straight up from Mr. Bob Probert if 100,000 of you pledge $10 to help save the Edmonton Oilers. Check from Mr. Mike Palmatier for $29,000, $29.29. $29 Got the sign to check there, Mike. Can we get a pen? Here, I'll get it. If you don't mind. Watch your head. Oh. You all right? And here, Captain Hookie is down at uh, College Street's Cafe Primo with Mr. Paul Coffee. Paul Coffee, and we're at a coffee shop. It's just absolutely. Oh, 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 oh.